Hey everybody, normally on Q Computer Channel, I talk about computers and technology. Today I'm going to be talking about something different. Today I'm going to be talking about power lines. And I'll explain why I'm talking about power lines here in just a moment. As an introduction, in most cases, if you live along a main road, you get fed straight from a three-phase line such as right here, like our neighbor's house it gets its electricity from right there as you can see transformer on the pole in other cases if you live on a main road sometimes your electricity might be fed from a single phase line such as this right here most older neighborhoods and some residents along main roads are fed off a of single phase line and these lines branch from the main three phase feeder line and any sort of power line that branches off of a main feeder line needs some sort of circuit breaker installed, such as a fuse cutout or a recloser, like as you see here. Here's an example of what a fuse cutout looks like. It's that little device on the left of the pole. And some people call these fuses, cutout fuses, or just plain old cutouts. And what these devices do is when a fault occurs, like let's say this tree, let's say if this tree was to fall against this line cutout fuse would blow open so that way the rest of the electric service wouldn't be interrupted while cutout fuses do their job very well they also have a big disadvantage oftentimes on single phase lines and even three phase lines that use these simple things such as um, tree limbs, squirrels and stuff like that can cause temporary faults that blow these things open but the faults clear within a second or so but you're still stuck with electricity until the lineman comes out and replaces the fuse which by the way most neighborhoods that use overhead lines use fuse cutouts underground lines also use these but of course underground lines usually don't have any sort of faults unless the underground cables get messed up somehow so let's say you know for sure that your electricity is fed from, let's see, a power line that runs into a neighborhood or is on a fuse cut out for any reason. And you tend to lose electric service pretty often. You have dips, blinks, or complete losses of power really, really often. It's important to make sure that the tree limbs from any trees, make sure tree limbs are not touching the lines and make sure there's no cuts or anything going up the power lines. used to be a couple years back just down the road in this neighborhood a little ways there's a patch of kudzu and it all it would always reach the pole and it grow up the pole and interfere with the power lines and every year almost it would cause interruption of service first time it rains we'd hear a loud explosion when the cutout fuse used to blow and here's an example of what the thing sounds like when a lightning strike happens Let's say for example, the lines in your neighborhood are clean, there's no tree limbs growing around them or anything, and there's no kudzu interfering with the lines, but yet let's say you still lose electricity pretty often. That's the kind of case that was going on with this neighborhood here. Our electric service is provided by Energy United, which is more or less an electric cooperative, or simply known as electric co-op. And they had done tree trim and maintenance last year on all the power lines so the power lines are good and clean but yet we lost electric service at least three times this year due to temporary faults all they had to do was come out temporarily look at the lines and throw in a new cutout fuse and it'd get pretty annoying because we'd be in the dark for at least an hour or two while our neighbors still had electric service so anyways as usual when that lightning strike occurred that was the most recent issue with um, a service outage. We called Energy United, they come out, Lyman 
doing a new cutout fuse. And when he was out here, I had a little asked um, asked him about reclosers. And of course, my dad got on the phone and he called up to the central office. But I tend to know a pretty good bit about power lines. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'm not planning on actually being a lineman as a career, but I do know some things about them. And I know for a fact that reclosers are basically devices that when they sense a fault, they open for about five seconds and then try to restore the service. And they'll do this for about three or four times before they'll eventually just lock out and then require intervention. So about four days later, linemen started coming out and doing improvements to all the power lines back in this neighborhood. They replaced the lightning arresters on all the older transformers in the neighborhood. The ones they didn't get were the ones on this line behind us because both the transformers on this line behind us are pretty new and have, um, or at least have new lightning arresters installed on them. And they also installed cutout fuses on every part of the power line that branched out this way. For example, if you see down here, there's that cutout fuse I showed you earlier. Before they did this maintenance, it wasn't there. The line more or less is bridged over to this side and down to there. So let's say if a tree was to fall, like this tree here was to fall on the lines, it would interrupt service for 28 houses when it could just interrupt service for two or three for that matter. But anyways, they did those improvements and then a few days later, they decided to go ahead and install a recloser. And here are some close-ups of what the recloser looks like. And here's some footage of them installing the recloser to the pole. So reclosers have a pretty big advantage over regular cutout fuses. As I was saying, reclosers, that when they get open for any reason, they try to reclose the circuit at least three times. So that way, all you'll see is a blink in service rather than a complete outage for like an hour or so if it's something simple as, let's see, a lightning strike, a squirrel, or anything like that. So that's, what, that's the reason why they're commonly used on main feeder lines. This switch pole here, as you see, it has 
three switches and these poles can get used to sectionalize the grid they can have the switches open this let's say this side is fed by one substation and the other side is fed by another substation they can be open for let's say line maintenance let's say if a big tree falls down the line and they want to restore service to some people they can open these switches temporarily to restore service for people down here while they fix the line down that way and other times they can open these switches and install a recloser bank and here is a picture here's actually a screenshot from the mid 90's when this pole used to have reclosers installed on it but reclosers also have a disadvantage in some cases let's say at the power lines the trees near power lines are starting to grow into the lines and there comes a good rainstorm sometimes some, something as simple as a quick little rub of a tree branch can cause a recloser to open for five seconds and close back and then a few seconds later open up again sometimes this recloser has actually functioned already since they installed it after they installed it we had a pretty bad lightning storm come through lightning struck the power line this thing opened for five seconds and closed back but let's say an hour later during a very well it wasn't actually raining that hard this thing opened twice for who knows why but ever since then we never had any issues so anyways like I say if you're losing electric service pretty often first thing make sure the um, linemen come out and or at least have the tree service come out and make sure the lines are clean of any obstructions such as trees kudzu or anything like that but let's say if you live in a neighborhood that's got let's say 20 or more houses or so in the neighborhood and you lose electric service at least probably two or three times a year all due to temporary faults not due to um, tree limbs or anything like that let's say the squirrels or um, something like that causing your service to be interrupted it's a good idea to possibly um, reference reclosers to your electric company because they just might install one like they did here hopefully that'll be some useful advice to you Anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.